And we're back. So here we are playing some Stellaris now. Okay, yes, privacy policy. There we go. All life is sacred except for mosquitoes. Oh yeah, totally agree. If there is one species, if there is one species for which I would advocate genocide, it's the mosquito. Straight up. Mosquitoes suck, no pun intended. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, Tantalus and Paradox. No, that was our fleas, jackass. That was not us. Also, I don't have fleas, so fuck off. Tantalus and copyright Tantalus and Paradox Interactive. <laughs> like hell I did. Like hell we did. We weren't the ones uh, we weren't the ones that were diseased. Our fleas were. And y'all were too dumb. Uh, y'all humans were too dumb to clue in. Let's see here. Oh, hey, Ravu. Oh, well, well, how, how was it, though? Aww, you're besties now. That's awesome. All right, let's see here. Tutorial. Well, I mean, yeah, you've been blowing into a brass instrument for I don't know how long. Ha! Nice! United Nations of Earth. Okay, yeah. Uh, government represent democracy. I have to look through all of this. Um, President Dolores Mwanga. Okay, much has happened since modern humans first emerged in Africa some 200,000 years ago. Our kind, sp our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe, and soon the first civilizations took form. Scientific progress first claimed millions of lives even before the atom was tamed, and the turmoil of the 21st century saw the mandate of the United Nations gradually expanded in an effort to create stability. By the early 22nd century, the supranational organization has become a de facto world government. Though some still resent the power wielded by the UN, as evidenced during the Mauritanian police action of 88, uh, few can deny the technological breakthroughs that have come out of its sponsored research programs. With the recent completion of the first true starships, mankind is about to embark on a new era of space exploration. Okay, let's see here. Going back to the chat. Bigger threat. Covenant from Halo or Combine from Half-Life? Huh. Um, that depends. Uh, I know it's I know it's a probably a question for you know that, you said it was a question for Hunter, for boss, but I do need to ask you this. What point in Halo's timeline? Yes, this is an important detail. Okay, then uh, I, I I think we can assume 
the covenant at the height of its at the height of its power. So, uh, okay, how many how many species has the combine put to the torch? Oh, we're talking about crossover type stuff. So, uh, there are a lot of comparisons being made between similar groups in entirely different franchises. And again, no boss, you're not the only one that thinks that 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 trope is incredibly hot. It's actually very sweet. Although very freaky depending on what the non-human SO is. So like, you know, vampires? Okay, yeah, I get it. Um, uh, zombies? What the fuck? You know, the whole corpse bride thing? Blech. So, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, and then, of course, the obvious werewolves. That depends on how much control uh, they have while transformed. So, if it's if it's the if it's the kind of lycanthropy where they're still self-conscious, yeah, that's that's pretty hot, especially considering some of the possible anatomical ramifications. Moving on! <laughs> uh, Lamia's. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in most contexts, Lamia are... Uh, so Lamia's are uh, female only, although you do have similar... You do have similar races that are male and female. Like Nagas. <laughs> yes, of course, boss. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I mean that? And mermaids. Hmm. I mean, Disney did a whole fucking show tune about why life as a merman would be fucking awesome. Okay? So, you know. Oh, yeah. Sirens especially. Like, because unlike mermaids, whose portrayal as, you know, seductive singers kind of varies, sirens... Oh, they, they, they are synonymous with the with the trope. Although sirens uh, taxonomically are more akin to harpies. Dragons? Oh, dragons! Fuck yeah! Ah, uh, I'm still I'm still upset that uh, about what Nintendo did with Dragalia Lost. Like they missed a perfect opportunity. To just make uh, to make an offline uh, version of it, like, oh these these fucking live service games. Yes, I'm taking a moment to rant, because I stopped playing Dragalia Lost because my phone couldn't handle it anymore. It was lagging too much, so I thought, eh, I'll I'll go back to it when I get a new phone, and then they fucking shut it down. Horseshit. Anyway, but yeah. Uh, yeah, boss. Uh, what are your thoughts? Personally, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see Ed and Mustang blow shit up. <laughs> you know that Winry is going to geek out over the gravity gun. <laughs> Am I wrong? In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Ed tries to talk her into implementing that into his auto mail. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell.
<laughs> no boy. Well, I mean, I would argue that Builder doesn't seem to be that much of a degenerate, but the fuck do I know? Oh boy. Yep. So, so what you're saying is that lycanthropy is an STI. Or can be an STI. Is that what, basically what you're saying? Because that's what I'm getting from that. Personally, I'm a bit of an I'm a bit of an old-fashioned romantic, so so like that's one of those things that you have to be accepting of everything about your partner before you even go that far. Because if it's if it's spread by fluids, well, again, old-fashioned romantic, you know, fondling, kissing, the whole nine. So. The moment you that you uh yeah. So how kinky is the question, okay? I mean uh, Again, I, I I'm a fucking degenerate, so the idea of uh, a uh, the idea of uh a female werewolf pinning me down and having her way with me Hot. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> there you go. But then again, I'm a bit of an Amazon chaser. I kind of have a thing for uh, vaguely muscular women. And, you know, confident, strong-willed. Like, you get the idea. Like, let's be honest. Uh, Wonder Woman ain't hot because she's stacked. Okay? She's hot because she's a fucking badass. Okay, a bit of a kick to it, which means that Winry would basically have to upgrade his, uh, would also have to upgrade his leg to compensate, pretty much. So, for example, if she could potentially invert, if she could invert the gravity gun's effect on the leg, and somehow uh, synchronize the two, or have some sort of stance uh, system built into it so that when he basically plants his left foot down triggering the you know triggering the uh, well enhanced gravity on that leg again to compensate oh oh shit uh, at that point okay see you in a bit Ravu Hellhounds could be a variant of lycanthropy. Like, oh boy. Okay, um... Well, when Boss gets back, I have something to say on that because... Uh, a particular example just popped into my head. Okay, let's see here. Excellent decision, you have my full support. Researching new technologies will be critical to our success. I tell you this not merely as a product of unfettered technological progress, but as your trusted advisor and, I suspect, your only true friend. Oof. Okay. You can toggle between galaxy and system maps at any time during the game. Okay. And some of the... Okay. Bernard Star. Sirius. Genium. Alpha Centauri. Hmm. Okay, and... Okay. 
And where's Proxima? Okay, zoom in. To view the system. Or, oh wait, that, yeah, that is. Here we go, Proxima Centauri. The star closest to Sol. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, I think my stick is drifting. Damn. Nuts. That's no good. Cord pull. Let me just cut my mic for a second. Yep, that fucker's drifting a little. Anyway. Now let's see here. Molten world. Hemisphere's thin or non existent. That's just. Yeah, Proxima C. Gas giant. That said. I doubt there are any Earth-like planets. Has not been surveyed. Can only colonize planets inside of our borders. Alpha Centauri three. It's a moon from the looks of it. Continental world. Centauri three. Nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere are active and stable. Hydrosphere, great land masses. Okay, and what about the gravity there? Or is that even a factor? How could someone so small take down so many Combine soldiers? <laughs> also, uh, Builder, I do have to ask. Um, considering uh, considering Ed and Al's stance on um, killing, you know, because the thing is that Mustang and Hawkeye are much more uh, inclined to kill if necessary. And Al, not so much. So, so uh, how would that factor in? Because, like, we can we can assume that they would on some they would to some capacity recognize these uh, recognize the combine as people. So that's. That's one of those, the one of those details where it starts to get a bit more difficult. Let's see here. Alpha Centauri A. All right, let's head back to. Let's start with Lunar Research Station. A research station built in orbit of a planetary body will gather its physics, engineering, and society research data. They can only be built within our borders and they are not needed if the planet has already been colonized. Okay. So of course you have Luna. And ability zero, but here of course Earth. this is our home world and the capital of our empire the planet summary screen which we are currently looking at provides an overview of the planet's important statistics and allows us to set a designation if desired as well as the option to automate the planet see here so uh, this is our home world and the capital of our okay let's let's go here we go this is our home world and the capital of our empire 
The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. We can see the total number of districts uh, this planet can support, how many populations are, or how many pops are living on it, and how much food and other resources it produces and consumes. We can also see that the planet is suffering from low stability, and if there is an assigned governor, they can be found here. All right, planetary features. Okay, districts, maximum 15. Uh, planet size, plus 18. From features, uh, minus 3. Free district slots, 2. Okay, uh, rare features. There are no rare features on this planet. Blockers, sprawling slums, Great Pacific garbage patch, industrial wasteland. Hmm. Status. Da, 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 da. Stability is the measure of the overall political stability of the planet. It is primarily to determined by the overall pop approval rating. Stability can be reduced by conditions such as overcrowding, low amenities, and crime. A planet with high stability... Well, right, but can they... Uh, okay, so... Again, my lack of familiarity with Half-Life is starting to show. Are they sentient? So if the Combine are basically just mindless slaves, for example, I don't know. Again, not familiar. But... Oh, yeah, that does suck. Um, how many tabs can you open, Aravu? Because if you can just open multiple tabs and uh, just mute the tabs without uh, muting the streams themselves, like, well, like I can do in Opera... So, to an extent. So, in other words, uh, only one got a phone on the app. Uh, gotcha. But, yeah, uh, Builder. So, essentially, if they can justify it as a mercy kill, it might leave a bad taste in their mouths, sure, but... There's... It, if, there's, if they can still be considered people, it might be a problem for N and L. That said, they could also they could also go for non-lethal takedowns in their case. Oh well, thank you, Aravu. Appreciate it. Because, like, seriously, the number of uh, the number of characters that Ed took down without with honestly I would argue the only if I'm not mistaken the only life that Ed ever took technically didn't count as killing anyway and that's at the end of the manga so because really he just returned the dwarf and the flask from whence he came back to the void Alive, but a prisoner, essentially. Yeesh. We volunteer to become combine soldiers, go through a prison to make them more. Oh boy. So, like I said, uh, you can absolutely have Ed and Al doing, using non lethal takedowns where viable. So. As long as the as long as the combine aren't uh, equipped in such a way that they can that they can literally fight to the death, if there's a way to just knock them out without killing them, Ed and Alk would actually would absolutely be willing to do that. Anyway, back to this planet status. Uh, let's see here. A planet with high stability will have increased resource production, while a planet with low stability will suffer penalties and may experience negative effects or even a full-scale revolt. Zero percent crime? Okay, when and how? Measure of the overall level of criminal activity and lawlessness on the planet. A high level causes negative effects to occur and may reduce stability. It is naturally caused by having a large population and can be reduced by increasing population happiness or employing enforcers. What was it earlier with everyone talking about their interests? Oh, yeah, Hunter had uh, 
had posed the question about that particular kink and it all it all went off from there although I might have I might have made a comment how uh, monster girl encyclopedia doesn't have any uh, hyena girls <laughs> because again I was raised by and around WMs I have a thing for strong-willed uh, women that can bench press me all of 165 pounds and uh, well hyena girls especially spotted hyenas oh hell yeah Anyway, let's see here. Oh, there's still more there. Housing represents plants for infrastructure dedicated to housing the population. Plant does not meet the housing needs of its population, will t suffer penalties to stability, and may experience immigration. Well, no shit. Uh, you can increase constructing additional districts. Also increases the plant capacity, which can affect biological pop growth speeds. Amenities. Infrastructure and jobs dedicated to fulfilling the day to day needs of the population. Okay. You can increase by uh, employing in various jobs such as entertainers. Current unemployment. There are no unemployed uh, uh, on the planet. Wow, so they really got shit figured out, didn't they? <laughs> Damn. Well then, now let's look at... The Outliner is where we can view our planets, military fleets, civilian ships, and other assets owned by our empire. This is where you'll be commanding your ships through research, expansion, and war. Okay. Are we talking like snake are we talking like snake girl venom or what? Yeah, yeah, it, although it depends on the effects of it. So, for example, if it if it can serve as if if low doses can serve as an aphrodisiac, <laughs> fuck yes. <laughs> uh But yeah, also, um, has anyone here ever watched Monster Musume, Everyday Life with Monster Girls? <laughs> because, um, yeah, that's, that is fun. Oh, you, you read, you read the manga. Nice. So, uh, what are the odds of us getting a, uh, what are the odds of us getting a second season of the anime? Poor? Because if so, it's a shame. Oh, is my, st the stick is drifting again, damn it! Hold on, everybody, I gotta, I gotta cut my controller for a moment. Yeah, it's going to drift for a little while. Shit. Although it seems to vary based on the game. Hmm. Anyway. The alerts panel is where we will see all incoming notifications or points of interest. Aww. Whether you choose to address these alerts is entirely up to you.
Okay, so let's see here. It's open technology view. Oh, excuse me. The technology screen is where we will be directing oh, well. our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Yeah, also, uh, boss, uh, I'm going to need you to share that in the archive. And if Builder's interested, I'll shoot him a link as well. He's not in the Discord. Oh, that is absolutely a thing. Uh, okay, so you know that trope where uh, where a being with super strength has bed-breaking sex? Yeah, they call that Destructo Nookie. Oh, absolutely. Again. Again. Uh, a, a, a woman several times stronger than me, pinning me down and fucking me harder than the Star Wars writers fucked Mace Windu. <laughs> Again, I was raised by and around woman marines. I have a thing for strong women. <laughs> also, Builder, you don't have to you don't have to censor your profanities here. Also, uh boss, what part made you laugh so hard? <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're good, Builder. But yes, boss, that's the kind of scenario I'm talking about. Ah, you're trying to get out of the habit of swearing. I got you. Fair enough. Ugh. <sighs> Technology will lead to further advancements in espionage and covert activities. That's already been researched. Forms of theory. Uh, okay, planetary defense system, planetary communication. Let's see here. Store of elements now unified in empire. We must not, will not crumble. Yeah? Research. Select research. Standardized Corvette patterns. Yeah. Did you know? Once these technologies are inevitably researched, we must ensure our continued progress by setting new challenges for our scientists. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Fire can be sexy. Oh, absolutely. Like, uh, let's be honest. Anything that makes the bedroom a little more dangerous is going to be more exciting. Just, um, be sure to have fireproof uh, furniture and flooring. And also, well, basically, just make everything fireproof. Or the very least, fire resistant. Manage time. Change gameplay speed. I... You can toggle between pause and play at any time during the game. Holding down the button will change game speeds. 
Uh, fire spirit character, huh? Well then. I have important information for you. You can speed up and slow down the passage of time, and don't be afraid to pause when events become too hectic. You can control in the game auto pauses in the settings menu. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> That's great. Yes, this is a no judgment zone. So Yeah, exactly. This is this is a no judgment zone. The only thing that is not tolerated here is bigotry. Bigotry will automatically uh get joked about, you know? So, Did you know? so, yeah, yeah, I, I gather as much. Any single dark tag, eh, like there are some that are absolutely off limits, absolutely. But considering how, uh, considering uh, how large of a category Dark Tags is, you know. Plus, there's always going to be that part of the primal lizard brain, or as I like to call it, the Unga Bunga, that doesn't care that it's dark. It just cares that pretty female being mated. Let's see here. Camera control. Okay, let's see here from the system. Okay. Settings. All right. Good. Your attention, please. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I think he meant to say watch. missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Oh yeah, like that's uh, yeah. Uh, okay, going back to here. But yeah, like you got you got some uh, some stuff that kind of skirts the line. Plus, uh, well, I'll I'll explain that one later. But oh, uh, forehead, oof, that hurts. Anyway. To overcome the vast distances that separate star systems, our scientists have developed the hyperdrive. This device permits travel at speeds far exceeding that of light between systems connected yeah, you're by the lanes. I don't think you I don't think you said anything you shouldn't have. Besides, if if it were, then uh, I'm sure someone in chat would have called you out by now. So Like I said, the only thing not tolerated here is intolerance. Exactly. A everyone has their preferences. One man's meat is another man's poison, as they say. Ah. 
Uh, let's see here. To overcome the vast distances that separate star systems, our scientists have developed the hyperdrive. This device permits travel at speeds far exceeding that of light between systems connected by hyperlanes. Travel along a hyperlane is extremely fast, but interstellar movement is restricted along the paths of the galactic hyperlane network. Safely entering hyperspace is only possible at the edge of a system beyond the destabilizing effects of the star's gravity bell. Oh, yeah, exactly. Or, for that matter, um, certain types of forbidden love stories. Uh, again, context is important. Because one, like, one dark tag is all it takes for it to go from uh, forbidden love to just gross. That's all it takes, is one dark tag. Eh, not Yandere. That's that's still that can still be hot. Again, depending on context. But if it's the type where, uh, if it's the type where, uh, where they straight up kidnap their crush and false imprisonment and whatnot, that's a turn off for me. That is a big turn off for me. But if it's the sort of, if it's the sort of thing where, uh, uh, where there's a mutual attraction, then that it can work. But if it's if it is completely unconsensual on one party's part, nope, not interested. Anyway, let's see here. Open galaxy map. Access the outlier, which is right here. Yes. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Ah, drift. Select a science ship. Here we go. UNS Nobel. Uh, Nobel. Moment of your time. Toros can be activated or deactivated. Yeah, okay. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. So, uh, but as far as this discussion is concerned, I think now is the time to, uh, well, let's, let's just uh, address the elephant in the room. Fantasy versus reality, okay? So tags that we're a fan of in fantasy, you know, like erotica, porn, etc. That's fantasy. That is an entirely that that is a potentially an entirely different set of morals from reality. Okay, okay. So something that that we might consider completely disgusting and deplorable for personal reasons in reality, we might find kind of hot in fantasy. Okay? So, again, because primal lizard brain, Ungabunga, only cares about people bumping nasties. That's what, that's what it cares about. Whereas, uh, uh, whereas the mammal forebrain, that's the part that actually cares about morality and such. So, now let's see here. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Select science ship, and then the cursor... Move and select one of the neighboring stars. Okay, let's see here. Uh, chat. While we're on the subject of kinks, I'm a fan of the belly midriff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's hot. I've learned to be extremely careful with what is real and isn't. And given Builder has an AU thing going on, yeah. Muscle, 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 muscle. Oh, absolutely. Again. 
raised by and around WMs. But does anyone mind if I mention one uh, mild, uh, one mildly dark tag uh, comic that's caught my attention, and that actually has me interested in the plot long term? Yes, the morning series. Like I came for the, I came for the kink porn and stayed for the actually well thought out plot that considers all the consequences of its context that actually like the dynamic between the between the main characters again aside from context is otherwise disproportionately wholesome like these are two characters that are absolutely in love but context so you know now let's see here survey system oh oh absolutely builder the mistral outfits were great like like i i have never been a fan of uh, of a series keeping its characters in one outfit at all times. I do not care for one outfit wardrobes at all. You need to have some variety in your character's attire. Like, take the Sonic series, of course. You know, big Sonic fanboy right here. I like that... I like that... Uh, so the spinoffs give the characters alternate outfits, but I do wish we'd see more of that in the main series. Just a little more variety in their in their attire. So it's just one of those things. So uh, on that note, I think the outfit they've got Rouge in in Sonic Prime is probably my favorite out of all that they've put her in. Yeah, well, of course they have a lot of alternate outfits because it's Sonic Prime. It's a whole multiverse, or should I say, Shatterverse thing going. But anyway, yeah. Wait. Uh, oh, that reminds me though. Do any of y'all know who who uh, performed the ending theme to Sonic Frontiers? Anybody? Does anybody not want me to spoil it? Just to be clear. Nobody's worried about it. Okay. Nate wants to battle. Yeah, the ending theme. <laughs> was by Nate wants to battle. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, fucking course he did. <laughs> like, that's that's on the level. That is on the level of Skrillex collabing with Hikaru Utada to make face my uh, to make uh, uh, to make face my fears for Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah yeah the the opening theme to kingdom hearts 3 was a collaboration between series veteran uh, uh vocalist hikaru utada and uh, techno musician and vocal fan of the series skrillex i'm not kidding Oh, well, here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if if that one gets something soon. Fairly soon, anyway. Like, here's the thing. There... Sega has... 
has actually confirmed that they've got more stuff planned for this year besides more of Sonic Prime and the roadmap for Sonic Frontiers, which, oh, by the way, Sonic Frontiers is getting free DLC throughout the year. I am so excited. Like, don't take my uh, taking a break from uh, streaming Frontiers out of context. I just hate Chaos Island. Okay? I am so fucking excited for all of the shit they have planned. For everything that they've announced and the possibilities for some of the stuff that's been teased and leaked. For example, they might be working on uh, a 2D Sonic game, a new 2D Sonic game. In which case, we might be seeing uh, a continuation of Rush. Now, this is not confirmed, just so we're clear. But we might end up seeing a continuation of the advance, uh, the advance and Rush deal. And I would fucking love that. I think, I think that they should have given us a Colors DS Ultimate, quite frankly. Worst Sonic moment in the entire series. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna ignore the low-hanging fruit labeled 06 and say... Rise of Lyric. All of Rise of Lyric. But if we're talking purely from a plot point... Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Forces had some shit. But honestly... Yeah, yeah. Please, please reword. Okay. Dark Sonic has already had an older voice. He needs an angsty moan again, but this is... This time with real trauma. Oh, boy. Okay, worst moment in the... Okay, the worst moment. Oh, boy. Huh... That's a lot of games to sift through. Honestly, shit. Wow, I don't fucking, I can't, I can't pin one down, shit. Oh, oh, that's a thing. 06, like, 06 had so much fucking potential. The plot needs an overhaul. Absolutely, the plot needs a complete overhaul. But what really pisses me off about 06, what really pisses me off, is that I uh, yeah, I've heard of I've heard of Sonic Omens. What really pisses me off about 06? Okay, worst human character. I mean, they haven't really given us a whole lot. I will say this much. Um, Illis. Like, they, 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 oh my god. Yeah, no. Illis is absolutely the worst human character. Like, Professor Pickle's assistant is a better human character. Okay? And I don't even think we, we are privy to his actual canon name. Yes. What is it, boss? Yes, exactly! Exactly! Eggman is... Oh, man! Yes, the writing for Eggman and Frontiers... Yes! Fucking yes! They have they have gone they have gone back to giving Eggman depth. Like the, my biggest issue with with his writing in recent games was that he was just this tropey villain for the sake of having a villain. There was there was very little in the way of nuance besides him being uh, you know a little unhinged. Exactly. That is awesome. Also, uh, possible spoilers. Again, I, I don't, I don't give a shit about spoilers, and I think I've got it decently advertised on my main page that there will be some spoilers. But still, 
But yeah. Yeah, we get to see... We get to see Eggman as a dad. But the, the part that kind of irritates me about that... Is I can't help but imagine Metal Sonic... Uh, I can't help but imagine Metal Sonic... Trying, without a mouth, to say... Am I a fucking joke to you, father? Just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chris is just terrible. And Sonic X as a whole? No, no. Now the four kids dub? Oh, oh, absolutely. Rot in hell. Rest in pieces, four kids. Nobody misses you. Yeah, I'm still I I'm still getting caught up on the Archie comic, but I know who you're talking about, I think. Uh we're t you are talking about the uh Metal Sonic variant from the Archie comics, yes? Yeah, they brought back Mecha. They brought back Mecha Sonic for Scrap Neck Island. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Night Builder. But yeah. Now let's see here. System view. So now I'm trying to survey all bodies within. Noisy dog. Okay. Bernard Star. Okay. And now I basically just play the wit. Oh, right. There we go. Super Mario Bros. Reboot Part 2 is soon. Hmm. Well, that. Oh, I didn't realize there was a reboot. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Let's see, how long does it take to get there? Oh. Oh, that. Oh, Super Mario Bros. Z. That shit. Oh, wow. Also, uh, on the flip side of that, Project Season 3 for uh, Sat AM. Like, I, I, here's the thing. I didn't really watch much of the, of the cartoon back in the day. I, I was more of an adventures kid. But... I gotta get back to watching that because Project Season 3, oh fuck yes! Oh, and the fact they got together some of the old voice cast, oh man, that's fucking sweet. I wonder how long it's gonna take for that ship to arrive. Also, how far out can I zoom? Of course, I can't go any farther than the Milky Way. Let's see here. What's this? Mithrin Expanse. Some of the other areas I can look at. And of course, all the way at the center here, we'll get, we'll eventually get to Sagittarius A. But yeah, let's see how. How far out am I zooming? Oh, not too terribly far. Good, good, good. You can follow its progress in system view. Let's see here. Okay.
progress. Oh, it's almost there. Good. Five days left. Four days. Okay. Almost there. Booyah. Vessel has arrived. Now let's get a look here. Surveying. Now we just need to wait. Dog's being noisy. She's going to need to go out soon. I might have to AFK shortly. Because when I rotated the dogs earlier, the pup refused to go. So she's going to have to go real soon. But yeah, uh, boss, are you familiar with the morning series? An unconventional ship. Oh yeah, reading it. Yeah, like the fact that it's been ongoing for seven years, geez. And I only just started reading it. Like the the most recent chapter, Saturday mornings. That's what, uh, like it, it showed up in my feed, basically. And, uh, well, again, the dynamic between the characters, just, just great. So again, it's, you know, come for the X, stay for the Y. Come for the kink porn, stay for the actually engaging plot, which, for those of you unaware, Good plot and porn are generally mutually exclusive. Like you don't you don't generally see the two of those things overlapping. So yeah, yeah, the, uh, black kittens onto something. And of course, like I went I went back through uh, the some of the other places where the earlier pages were posted and of course you got some people complaining about the subject matter and it's like well then don't read it or oh this this killed this this killed this artist for me well then just look at their other shit i mean here's the thing one of my favorite but one of my favorite nsfw artists is niche and his work as far as my preferences are concerned is very much a mixed bag. I don't care for, I don't personally care for half of the stuff he makes. Because again, just as a matter of personal preference. But damn it if he's not a good artist. And damn it if the stuff that I do like isn't damn hot. So. Okay, um, Carol, okay, Polymorph, whoa, Ooh. so a shape-shifting dragon, huh, that's, well, again, like, shape-shifting, it's like, she can be whatever you want, and again, I'm, I'm using, you know, gender pronouns in, in terms of my personal preference, but uh, it, it is gender neutral, technically. But yeah. Oh, oh, that's hot. That's hot. Yes, boss, that is absolutely hot. And a, a freaking shapeshift, like, and her partner's a shapeshifting dragon. <laughs> the possibilities. Uh, okay.
Okay, I should probably go back to the research stuff. Oh. No, it's still ongoing. Oh, it's going to take months? Well, shit. Okay. There's got to be some way for me to... management menu will help you manage our empire as okay progress the leaders tab lets us hire dismiss and assign idle governors scientists admirals and generals Okay. Recruit new leader. Let's see here. Expertise, computing, field manipulation. Three. Anomaly research speed. Okay. Cost. Western Lightning Drag. Hold on, I got an AFK. I think the dog's being dumb. for now. Yeah, dog was being dumb. Okay, let's see here. He's a Western Lightning Dragon. She's the goddess of death. How? Because Dragon Bro is literally too considerate to be useless. He started as a slave, but didn't serve Anubis. How he caught her interest, treated her without fear or respect. Not even when he was told that she was a goddess. He just saw someone else passing the currents of time alone. Aww. That is so fucking wholesome. And that, to me, is the deciding factor. That, to me, is the single biggest deciding factor. Let's see here. Cost. Yes. start assigning them. Available. Select research. Journey to this star system and survey all bodies within. Yep. 
still doing that. Ah, oh, this drift. How do they become official? Boss. But at this point, like, I unironically want to see a comic made out of this. The discovery of alien life. The UNS Noble has made a startling find on Barnard Star 2. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Earth. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Barnard Star 2 are sapient, it is likely only in a, a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Wow. We may not be alone out here. Yup. That's awesome. Also, um, boss, I'll tell you what I told Builder uh, regarding these walls of text. Break it up so it can actually render on the uh, on the actual readout on screen. Like, so that those watching the VOD can actually see the whole thing. Because, as I'm sure you've noticed, uh, broadcasting from PlayStation, it cuts off uh, past a certain character length. So, like I said, maybe uh, find a cutoff point and... Okay? Yeah. And then once you post that, keep going. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. His master almost let him bleed out through being uh, whipped. Oof. He, okay, he gets his due. Good. Anubis finds him almost lifeless. Contact reported. Simple forms of life. The United Nations of Earth is abuzz with news of alien organisms discovered some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle in the human people a renewed hope of first contact with intelligent beings. She pulls her heart out since she... She liked being treated like anyone else. She admits to wanting to know what kind of places she had in his heart. Aww. Nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and significant hydrosphere. Oceans cover more than 90% of the surface. Here we go. First contact protocols. Yeah, no. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Our recent encounter uh, with alien life forms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potentially intelligent alien civilizations we may meet. While some advocate focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible, like contacting them with a message of peace, others advise caution, pointing out that we cannot know whether alien minds bear ill intent towards us and that it would be unwise to let them know too much about us before it is necessary. Can it? Okay. Okay. Let's see here. First contact discovery speed gain 50% more influence from each successful first contact process. Cannot attack neutral entities. Other empires will find it easier to establish communications. Harder cannot attack neutral entities. Negative first contact are less likely to happen to us. So yes, it is wise to be cautious. It's taken us this long to make first contact. We need to be careful. to be noisy. Okay, let's see here. He manages to gather the sheer willpower to force his own electricity to a sort of survival mode of hibernation. His near sleepy words, all of it. Aww. 
That is precious. Koshiro Sakam uh, Sakamoto. Yeah, Persona 5's, uh, uh, Persona 5's uh, voice direction really throws me off of that pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, like I said, boss, I would love to see this concept adapted into a comic, honestly. Speaking of which... There's one concept for a Star Fox NSFW fan comic I had in mind. Involving uh, a gender-bent Wolf O'Donnell. Because Space Pirate Queen vibes. Well done. The first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere oh, generation ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, like these, these AR art generators, ugh. They've been just overused. Yeah, exactly. Strict concepts, yeah, like, between, I'm just saying, like, there is a lot of potential for these things to be used properly. The problem is, they're instead being used as a cheap shortcut. It, it, yeah, exactly. The, the whole OC don't steal mess. So, yeah, it's, it, it's just a whole mess. So... Because, again, the potential, the potential is there, but it's being squandered. Because, again, you know, pe people are, are so worried about, you know, oh, you, you just put in a prompt and it just spits it out. I, I believe more in AI, uh, in AI corrected art. It's like, I'm not satisfied with how, with how this drawing of mine turned out. Can you, can you, uh... Can you make X adjustment to Y detail? And then, boom. Like, it's like, okay, correct the color slightly. Yes, that. That's the, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. They, that AI should be used... When AI in art should be used for course correction. It should be used to refine a human-provided detail. Oh, yeah, my hands, my hands are not steady enough to draw, yet I have so many images stuck in my head that I cannot get out, which is exactly why this technology is so fucking promising. It's, I... Like when 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 your hands are not you know, when your mind is built for art but your hands aren't, it's terrible. It's it's awful. The Bernard system has been fully okay, abnormal conditions. As our science as our as our science ship scans uh, the surface of Bernard Star 4, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. It has conditions unlike anything we've ever seen before. We will surely come across even more irregularities like this as we survey new planets. And should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. Okay. 
Okay. Head. Well, you know what? Let's start charting here. Head to Sirius. Now that we have begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. A star base can be built around stars and surveyed systems to expand our borders, allowing us to claim new regions of space. Exactly, there is no magic cast. Ugh. So. Survey system. Okay, to access the outlier, select construction ship. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Okay, you also used to build star bases and unclaimed systems, making them critical to our expansion plan. Starbase outpost. Hey, no, cat, don't mess with cords. How many times do I have to tell you, cat? Rift. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to AFK to to walk the dogs. I'll be back shortly, alright?
All right, I'm back. Oh. So uh, the so that concept you mean of uh, female Anubis and uh, a lightning dragon? I mean, I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff personally. I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff dealing with that. But hmm, absolutely interested in the idea. Let's see here. The Cybrex. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Sirius 1. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrex, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifacts indicates they were active some 600,000 years ago. In this portion of the galaxy, at least, but we have learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life in the galaxy for reasons unknown. Oh, shit. Situation log updated. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, the fucking drift. Idle? No, still surveying. Okay. Okay, seriously, this drift is pissing me off. Report remnants. Intelligent life taunts with point of absence, reads a popular news net post on Earth. The people of the United Nations of Earth are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower life forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. The report on the traces of alien life that were recently found seem uh, seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situation. Come on! Definitely gonna have to put. put uh, definitely gonna have to add a new controller to the cart. Shit. Okay. Anyway, boss, you still there? Sweet. Let me hear it. Also, do you know anywhere I can get a uh, good quality PS4 controller for a low price? Because this drift is irritating the hell out of me. Move, cat. Get down. Cat, get down. SO's shifted and other SO's like, well, guess I'm in the bottom now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fun. Domination loss. Oh, that's hot. Excellent. As you can see on the galaxy map, the borders of our empire have expanded to include the system where we built our new starbase. Nice. Completed the construction of a starbase in orbit of Barnard Star. Nice. You see it, construction complete. 
to open traditions view. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Oh, that's great. A planned hunt based on hunt and seek, but the werewolf side gets to join in. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see here. Base cost. Okay, let's see here. Adaptability. To adapt is to survive and surpass. Diplomacy. The surest way to destroy your enemies is to make them your friends. Let's see here. The resources generated by our homeworld will only take us so far. Luckily, our science ship has just found a resource deposit on another world. The time has come to use our construction ship to build a mining station. Nice. All right, let's see here. A curiosity. Every time I find one of these, I imagine the character is trying not to let their lungs crumble from holding laughter. Yeah. That is great, though. Discovery. Our curiosity about the universe is what got us this far, and there's still so much left to discover. Domination. If we do not impose our will on others, they will inevitably impose theirs on us. Yet, yeah, no. Expansion. Expand our civilization to new systems and plants or risk eventual extinction. Harmony. Few things can match the strength of a content, uh, content populace working towards a common goal. Mercantile, the flourishing of our entrepreneurial class paves the path to human prosperity. Prosperity, there is no better indicator of the success or failure of a star nation than the strength of its economy. Supremacy, the future of this galaxy belongs to those who are strong enough to seize it. Yeah, we're going with harmony. Keep things stable as we work our way up. Right, still gotta wait for that. Still gotta wait for the science ship to finish its work. Okay, in the meantime, let's get it over. Excuse me, cat, I was busy. Knucklehead. that it'll be ready. Let's see here. Check the chat roster. There's people here, most likely lurkers. Well, I mean, if it's supposed to be a secret, then maybe just DM it or something. Unless it's the sort of thing you feel... Uh, unless, of course, you feel that it... Uh, in, unless you feel confident outing yourself. That's embarrassing. Punch the stick like Thor's hammer or some shit. Most likely rust. 
Mm. Now surveying the star. Oh, forgot I could do that. That's cool. Koshiro's doing a good job. He's getting a lot done. I like my monster girls deadly, but yeah, but even better if they're overprotective to a degree. Yes, that's that's great. That is that is Freaking great. Also, is my okay? Yeah, my mic is down. Good. Maybe I do want someone to call me theirs and only theirs. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, still got three more. Okay. He's still got three more to scan. Good. Noisy fucking dog. I'll say this again, boss. Yeans. I mean, I don't know how they'd scale to humans or anthropomorphic rats, but but IRL spotted hyena females are larger than the males. So yeah. So imagine how that might uh, how that might scale when you anthropomorphize them. So here's the thing. I'm 5'11", which is a normal height for a human. For an anthropomorphic rat, it would probably be a little on the tall side. I wouldn't know. I don't really have a whole lot of others to compare to. I mean, there's Reyna, but she's a mouse. So, you know, average build's going to be different anyway. I mean, there is a little bit, uh, namely by uh, artist Schmutzo. But not a whole lot, I agree. And that is just... That is just criminal. Yeah, agreed. The, it, exactly. I don't know. Maybe find. Maybe find uh, an. Maybe find uh, an author who's or an artist whose narrative style you like, and uh, you know, give them some concepts. Commission a comic. You know. I don't have the money to do that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Part of uh, part of why I'm shooting so hard for affiliate, besides, you know, to validate this as a use of my time to my family, is to at least start bringing in just a little bit of beer money. Not literally beer money, I don't drink. But just a little pocket change here and there. Starting off, it ain't gonna be nearly enough to make. Uh, it ain't gonna be nearly enough to help my mother with the bills, but no, that not until I hit partner. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's that's years away. Okay, it looks like he just needs to scan one more. Oh, two more. But yeah, I totally agree. There's there's not like there's there's nothing of that. 
Oh, paywall, of course. Yeah, no, it looks like you're just going to have to to write your own. That said, if you can get it, let me know if you can get a good artist on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, so... Huh. Do they have a lifetime license option? There's the real question. Okay, survey is complete. And one more. And then that'll be the last. And then once... Yeah, like they'd need, they'd need to have long-term income. But that one is, like you said, high effort. System survey complete. All right, now that it's surveyed. Ah, got to build an outpost first. A leader has gained a level. Uh, Governor Yoshu. Busy governing the Earth sector. Okay. Construction complete. There we go. Build mining station. station is operational and it has already begun gathering resources for processing Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. Absolutely. Research station, okay. 
the research station. Oh, nutrition's available. Okay, so... Uh, prosperity. Wait. Yeah, absolutely. Construction complete. Let's see your slot from the outlier. Your physics engine side resource. It's not helping. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects, archaeology sites, and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Okay, don't show again. Build more districts. Okay, so at least two additional agriculture districts. Let's head back to Earth real quick. Here we see a breakdown of this planet's population, divided into layers, or strata. Okay.
This is where we manage all ground forces on our planet. Okay. Agriculture district. Yep, clear the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Just released land. Okay. Now head back to Sirius. Nuts. Select construction ship with the cursor. Select or uh, it's not letting me. about it so what what yeah I'm trying to find the okay is this the one no it's not that what the hell was it then this thing this is starting to frustrate me these <sighs> come on this is actually this is really starting to frustrate me
Aww. So, in other words... In other words, not just Yeen, but... Nal? Was, is that how it's pronounced? Because you mentioned that... You mentioned that... Her SO is a D&D &D nerd, so... It stands to reason. unusual come on I did something wrong I must have I must have missed a detail come on. sorry I'm a little distracted Well, we've already established, you know, yeans. And given context, and given the right context, I'm not above entertaining certain dark tags. Okay, let's see here, Stellaris. And as I said, um,. I'm the kind of guy that uh, that wants uh, that wants a partner that is taller than me, strong enough to bench press me. Again, all of 165 pounds me, and uh, would gladly pin me down and fuck me more brutally than the Star Wars writers fucked Mace Windu. So, yeah. We're talking bed breaking. We're talking, uh, I'm not walking for a week. <laughs> Anyways, that's a lot of tutorial. Build research. Oh, so it looks like building a research station is a problematic tutorial for a lot of folks. Sheesh. When, when there's a fucking Reddit entry in the top Google results, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna do it that way. Research station first. There we go. Hellhounds only. Oh, absolutely. Like, you mentioned Hellhounds. Luna. Just saying. And it does not help, or does, depending on your. Depending on how you, uh, you want to look at it, that she's voiced by Erica freaking Lindbeck. Oh, a kaiju? Oh, shit. Okay. 
How, how extreme is the size difference? How extreme is the size difference? These details are important. Size shifting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. Our new research station is online, and its science staff have begun their work. What secrets will they uncover? What forbidden mysteries of creation? Size shifting. Nice. The resource panel is where we can view our monthly income from energy credits, minerals, and unity. Physics, society, and engineering are used to research new technologies. Via the market screen, we can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market, but if enough empires establish contact, I expect they might form some sort of galactic market. Let's see here. What am I needing? Uh, that's food. Minerals. Consumer goods and alloys. Pro okay, probably takes a lot of trust to choose to become small for someone other than yourself. Aww. Yeah, that's sweet. Here is something that you perhaps didn't know. Alright, select science ship. Survey another nearby star. Let's continue to expand around Sol first and foremost. Let's head back to uh, Sol. In the meantime, to Earth. Whoops. Let's see here. Okay. And she will eradicate your pelvis to dust unless you ask for her to be gentle because let's face it that's hot too yes there we go build two agriculture districts station there. No.
But again, Ungabunga sometimes does want pure animalistic mating. Exactly. Remember, when we're talking about smut, Ungabunga takes priority. Construction complete. Okay, let's see here. Anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Research. Oh, the current scientist finds this anomaly very hard. It'll take far longer. He's the only one we've got. Shit. Yeah, nope. Now continue with your work and come back to it. That said, I do need to hire more scientists. Research complete. Sweet. Ooh. Genium Ea. Strategic resource discovered. The UNS Noble has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource on Genium Ea, dubbed Volatile Motes. These pre preternatural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy which can, could be exploited in energy production as fuel or even as explosives. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control of the system for future exploitation. Absolutely. Let's pause that. Okay, that's not good. I need to get more science ships. L1 shipyards. Ok, 
Okay, six more orders. about time to consider a raid. So who should we go with? Okay, let's see here. Habitable World Survey. We know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Begins the Habitable World Survey event chain. Situation log updated. Let's check the set log. Let's see here. Comet sighted. A lone proud comet soars through the Sol system, clearly visible from Earth. It's forged its own path through the cosmos, vibrant and ever undeterred. This is the ideal which all humans strive for. Consider building a second Thank ship. you. This would double the speed at which we can Talking survey our galactic neighborhood. That. Let's see here. Who all is on? Looks like Bell's playing Uru. Oh, jeez. And went with the pun, I see. Okay, yeah. I think we're going to raid now. I'll continue playing this on my own time. But in the meantime... Yeah, we're going to I think we're going to raid my friend uh, Vanter Valix. So, uh, until next time, this is the Wilhelm Starten raiding and signing off. Don't touch that dial. <laughs>